Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of No No Yo Guy. Guy. My name is Stefan, and I'm joined with Diana again today. Hello, Diana. Hi. Hello, hi, everyone. In this series of YouTube videos, we talk with your favorite tour guides. You know, Diana. Sometimes when we go on tours, we ask a lot of questions about the history of the location or you know the culture there, but we never really get to connect with the tour guides. Exactly, Stefan. That's why we have this episode to welcome all the amazing guide that we know to actually, you know, um, chat with us, have a small chat, understand them more, you know, uh, behind behind who they are actually. Yes. Yeah, they're actually very interesting people. Yes, definitely. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity of being able to allow, allowing me to chat with them. Uh, I think I want to get out of this this home though. I haven't <laughs> been able to travel so much. What do you think? Yeah, and today we have someone all the way from Penang. So Stefan, shall we fly there and meet him? Yes, please. Let's go in three, two, one. Yay, we are here in the name. Wow, <laughs> Stefan, where are we? Let's go ask our guide. Hello, Eric, how are you? Uh, hello, Diana, how are you? Hello, Stefan, how are you? Hello, hello. Have a know. nice day. <laughs> Eric, uh, please tell us, where are we now? Uh, we are now at Georgetown Jiu Jetty Heritage Site. So, Chiu yeah, Chiu Jetty is one of the famous tourist sightseeing in Georgetown and one of the must visit places when you travel to Penang. So, we are now at the sunset view of Chiu Jetty. So, usually oh. I will bring guests to this place around five to six something so that they can enjoy the sunset view and also they can buy some local souvenir and know more about the local cultural and some traditional things in Chiu Jetty. Wow, this place can swim or not? Oh, cannot swim. <laughs> cannot <laughs> swim. <laughs> swim, <laughs> swim. <laughs> I want more extra things to share with you all. Uh, why this yeah. jetty name after Chiu? Because it belongs to the Chiu people. Like Chinese, we have mm. a surname. Tan, Li, Lim. Chiu is the surname of Chiu people. So mm. they are all surname under Chiu and then this inside this Chiu Jetty village. So if uh, you're so Chiu surname people, you can go there and maybe you can get a good offer of a drink or of a food when you mentioned about you are Chiu people. <laughs> mm. wow. So what's the privilege for them to stay in this Chiu Jetty? For the Chiu Jetty, okay. Uh, now I need to explain to you everything was back to the British rules, uh, back to 100 over years ago. When British, okay. when they first landed and occupied Penang, they implement several of charge, tax, charge. One of it is the property tax. So when you are not afford to pay the property tax, the British will ask you to move out from Penang, they move no. out from Georgetown. And the Chinese, they migrate all the way from China to Malaysia and they don't want to back to China again. So what they are going to do is they go and build the house uh, on the open sea water. So it avoid them to pay the property tax. So they are smart enough so that uh, <laughs> for the late people, for the late Chiu Jetty people, they also don't need to pay any extra property tax to the state government or the local council until now. Wow, so smart, huh? Yeah. Two people very smart. Uh, oh, so do you have, have any? Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, do you have any jetty? Uh, uh, by the the by the surname Ho or not? Mm, actually, in Penang, according <laughs> to the heritage recorded, we have six surname jetty. Uh, so we have six. Chiu jetty, we have Lim jetty, we have Tan jetty, and we have the Wong jetty, and also we have the Kui jetty. And also another one is the Lee Jetty. Mark oh. Lee, yeah, the Singapore famous art. <laughs> Mark <laughs> Lee Jetty. Funny so guy. It's all the Hokkien surname. 
Georgetown is mostly occupied by Hokkien. So like Ayah, your surname is Jim, your surname is Jim. Chester, don't, don't have. I'm not Hokkien. The Wong is Huang, is it? A uh, Wang. Wang. Guo Wang, uh, not Yen. Oh, ayah, I missed by a bit. Ayah, that one you also no chance, no chance. I missed by a bit. <laughs> by a bit, by a bit. Yeah. So we still have, we still left six surname jetty in Georgetown. Mm. But when every time when we talk about the surname jetty, we will immediately cross into our mind Jiu jetty because Jiu jetty is the most preserved and conserved well in Georgetown. Mm. Uh, so tourists they like to go there and know more about the uh, the culture about Jiu jetty. Mm. Have you been there, no? Never, never. Can be. Never, ah, ayo. <laughs> so maybe oh after the borders uh, open, we go find Eric there. After the yeah, pandemic, yeah, you all can get the flight very easy. One and a half hour from Singapore to Penang, and then in Penang you can get bus, taxi, grab whatever to go to Chiu Jetty. It's a definitely great place uh, to spend yeah time. first place to go. Mm, Penang. Mm, mm. I see boats behind. Are, are those uh, fishermen boats or are they yes, uh, yes. available for stories to, to rent and stuff like that? Okay, two functions. The first one is early morning, they will take this boat to go for fishing purpose. Okay, and then they will come back maybe late evening. And then late evening when they have nothing to do, when tourists ask, can I charter the boat to go for the sunset view? So no problem. I used to bring my guests to go there and then back before COVID 2020. My last trip that I visited Jiu in 2019, December, one person headcount charge sing dollar is about three. It's similar to ringgit, 10 ringgit. Mm, very worth so, it. Uh, so the boat can occupy up to 10 to 15 people. So they will bring you to go and see Penang Bridge, the Sunset View, and other tourist sightseeing places around Georgetown. So mm. very reasonable price, but now temporary closed down because of the pandemic. Uh, uh. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Going to be over soon, uh, everyone. Yes, yes. So praying yeah. for it, praying for it. Yeah, praying for that. Anyways, I think that we should really get to know you. Uh, before we go on anymore, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, like who is Eric, and uh, you know, interesting things, and you know. Mm. Okay, very simple. My name is Eric. I'm local born in Penang. <laughs> I'm involved in this tourism industry for more than fourteen over years, huh? I started my career in 2007 and until now, 2021, 14 years. Wow, and 14 years. Guess yeah. how long I know Eric? You know him for 15. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> Maybe more than... I think at least 10 years. Uh. Uh, almost, almost. Yeah, almost 10 almost. years, you know. Mm. When I know I, him, I, uh, he's I still start, very young. Eh. I, I also very young. <laughs> let me think. Very interesting question. Uh, because less people will ask me about my career. Uh, I started in 2007 as a tour leader. Because I like to go to overseas. Where when you're young, you don't like to stay in Malaysia to guide tour. You like to go to overseas, you want to go to China, you want to go to Korea, you want to go to Bangkok, you want to go to Hong Kong, Taiwan, whatever. So I involved in tour leader industry for nearly one and a half years. Mm. And then become boring. Because mm. every time you like Christmas, you can't stay in Malaysia. <laughs> Chinese New Year, you can't spend time with your family. You spend time with people that you don't know. But mm. you must pretend that you are friendly with them. Yeah, hi, Mr. Lee. How are you? Happy New Year. Hi, Mr. Lee. Hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, <laughs> getting boring. So, I shift from tour leader to tour guide. Then I started to focus more on Chinese market before I involved in Singapore market when I mm. recognized to Diana. Mm. So, Diana is so my Kui Ren. Huh? My no first la. Singapore you also group, my, uh. my first Singapore group uh, recommend 
by Diana. Wow, really? Diana, oh my you're God. a lot of people's queer yes, yes, yes. I realize. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, la. I uh, do because, my best. <laughs> uh, extra thing to share with you all, because most of the Singapore group, they were usually guided by Johorian. Because Johor is near to Singapore. I'm, I'm from Penang. Actually, it's quite far for me to guide Singapore. So I need to spend like 10 hours from Penang to the Tuas checkpoint to guide a group. And then after I send the group, I need to get another late night, late midnight bus back to Penang. Mm. But I enjoy the trip because uh, for me, uh, the way that we talk to Singaporean is definitely different in the way that we communicate with Taiwanese or Hong Kong or Chinese because we share the, of course the language is the same. Like when I guide Chinese market, you must speak in typical Chinese. But when you guide Singapore group, uh, Roger is the best. This is the best, to be honest. Uh. Beside the travel, make me a little bit tired. But I totally enjoy, like we talk about laksa. Uh, sometimes mm. you need to explain to the Taiwanese uh, laksa is a big sweet and sour and maybe they like and maybe they dislike but for Singaporean uh, men <laughs> everyone, they will order a bowl of some laksa because they know it so much we are sharing the same background but mm. we are in different country yeah Right. We are uh, brothers and sisters. Yeah, I started, <laughs> we, we, we were, right? <laughs> yeah, so I started tour leader and then I shift to tour guide and focus more on Chinese market because China is a huge market. Every year, like they have 2-3 to three million of tourists travel to Malaysia. Mm. But because of the culture and sometimes the way that very hard to communicate. So, uh, Year 2012 or 2013, when I started to recognize to Diana, and then Ryan managed to let me guide the first Singapore group. And until now, I still belong to Royal Wing as a oh. guide. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we kind of picky, yeah, you know, Stefan, when it yeah. comes to choose our own guide. La. They are our, the soul of the tour. Mm. So, um, Eric is one of them. La. I also want to thank him for serving all our customers, you know, for the past 10 years. La. Yeah, one so this best, episode... One more thing uh, to share. One of the best things to guide Singapore group. Mm. Always you can have a return customer. Like you guide a Chinese group four to five days. Last day at KIA Airport or Penang International Airport. Bye-bye and ends up. Nothing. <laughs> forever, <laughs> bye-bye. Oh, forever, bye-bye. Forever, bye-bye. They wouldn't visit you for second time. But for Singapore group, when you say bye-bye to any CC member, next month or maybe next two months or during Labor Day or Christmas or Raya, you will see them. Like, hey, auntie, you are from Amokyo CC. Ah. Wow, Eric, you see me. I purposely let Diana know to choose you as my group. Wow. Ah, yeah, so this yeah, is yeah. something that will give you a very great experience for Taiwan market one time one time services but mm. yeah. Singaporean you will have like a return customer like friends already. like friends they will whatsapp you mm. and let you know that oh, I already booked you for the labor day holiday we have three uh, three Continuous holiday. So we prepare. Eric, this time we want to go to Malacca, we want to buy the Nyonya we want to go to this place, we want to go to this place, we want to go to Camera Highland to buy the Camera Highland tea. So very enjoyable moment yeah. with Singapore yeah. tourists. And because Eric always give the best, give the best, like recommend the best food, but not commercialized one, you know. So, uh, as a local guide, right? Um, Eric is one of them that they will tell they he will share those really good stuff lah that he will recommend um based on his hometown or you know the country that he's born lah. Mm. So he won't lie to you and eh? good means good, no good means not good lor. Yeah. This is this is like the second interview, right? But like I feel like uh I just I just think that like tour guides are such passionate people about their career and their jobs. And I want to know, yeah, not just about your 
your your your tour guide a career, but like maybe okay, maybe before I move on to anything else, I'd like to know like why why tour guide or at the beginning, you know, in two zero zero seven, why did you uh uh was there a turning point or was there a trigger? I know you love to travel, but like you could have done anything else, but right, but why did you do uh why do you start as a tour leader? Well, very simple, traveling. Because I like to travel, and the best way to travel overseas without spending any single of your money is to become tour leader. Uh, <laughs> very simple. Everyone they join tourism industry, especially in tour leader, they like to travel overseas to know more about the overseas work. They want to go to the Great Wall of China. They want to go to Korea. They want to go to Europe. So mm. this is why make me love my job so much. Travel for free and get paid. Uh, travel for <laughs> yeah, free right. and then you can <laughs> you can listen the story from overseas to a guy to know more about mm. maybe Australia, Taiwan, Thailand, Cambodia. A mm. funny moment. Mm. But what it make me feel so boring is uh, <laughs> almost all the major holiday you can't spend time with your family yeah, so yeah. I prefer to work in Malaysia rather to travel overseas mm, mm, mm. so maybe 2009 I reduced my overseas trip and then I focus more on inbound market mm, because of your, your, your family like your kid la. Uh, family tell kids. us about your family well, I have a kid, uh, a wife, parents, sister. Yeah. So, uh, so you, you actually gave up a simple. bit of travel so that you can spend more time with family. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Now, you mentioned just now that you, you love traveling and there's a lot of uh, uh, nice experiences traveling overseas. I'd like to ask you two questions and you can take your time to answer the entire question. One is, what is your favorite place? And two is what's the funniest thing that happened? You mean when I travel alone or when I'm doing my overseas assignment or when I'm doing my guiding any, job? Any of the thing, any, any of it, any of it. Which one is the funniest and the most interesting? I think I, the, the most funny things are huh, when I first guide Diana group, huh, I think Diana <laughs> definitely remember this girl, Liana. Ah, uh, yes, our yeah. customer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's from uh, it, it's a poor leader, and then the bus stopped at highway. Oh, I remember. To go for, okay, okay. Let, to, let you continue. Uh, to go to buy some stuff, some snacks, and maybe they want to go to the toilet, take a short break. And then after 10 to 15 minutes, I didn't count everyone in the bus and then I left Liana and her friend inside the toilet and the <laughs> bus moved on to Kuala Lumpur. Oh, and, after no. 10, and then after 10 to 20 minutes, I still didn't realize. And then another <laughs> uncle approached to me and talked to me, Eric, you are like you are 28. 他是没有累那个门类啊他跟他的朋友他没有上巴士他是多利的我说我说我去算一下看我说哦我说我去算一下看我说哦我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我说我
e r i 哇，我上次我看到好跟他讲 ，Liana 明达马奥嘛，他是马来人哦，我跟他讲 ，Sorry Sorry 哈 ，I did call you in the bus， 他讲 ，It's okay It's okay It's okay OK It's okay It's okay 啦，那个龙哥跟我讲，他用福建话跟我讲，阿里个谁记了哈？新加坡人家你讲 is OK is OK， 你的第几讲都是小心啊，还是不小心啊？那就是你自己小心啦哈。那个笑笑家你讲 is OK is OK， 后背的家你放，后背的家你一面好在那讲啊，特别是用这个多改啊。我说是啊，起来了，那是我第一次是第二次帮戴安娜带团哦，是啊，起来很压力啊，真的是哈。我也不敢跟戴安娜讲，我我不好意思哦，而且丢掉一个人还是你的多余的，我加辣的。哦、oh, ，I remember the group A U B E 啊，他们是按照 A U B E 的啊。哇，加拉鲁真的是。过后呢，到了那一个抓 Jack Point 的时候，那个李亚娜还跟我讲 ，It's okay, it's okay, we forgive you, it's okay, it's okay。龙哥还在跟我讲，啊，一讲 forgive 就死机了啦哈。新加坡人跟你讲 forgive 你，绝对是有机会跟你一面啦哈。即全是 C C 啊 B C 啊，你叫个狗狗啊，有啦有啦，到即哇，完全不敢跟戴安娜讲啊，我就安静说说。啊，下次你还有机会载我，就是没有问题了。你没有机会载我，我应该就不会再多借他了。结果回去呢，哎，我看到哎，戴安娜第二天问我，我就跟他讲了，我讲完全部的东西，我跟他讲哦，有一个小小的 error， 这样子他讲，他回去了解一下。了解了过后呢，啊，还好了哈，他真的是火一火，他没有去跟戴安娜说太多了啊。所以我 I didn't know until now 呢 ，I I thought 哦 ，it's just like you know the bus is、啊、then just left for maybe just about five ten minutes only. She tell me over to forty five minutes. Oh my god, she now tell me she said, "Hey, by the way, ha, uh, I got this incident lah. Your guy actually forgotten to call me when she encountered it." <laughs> But she never tell me she waited so long, you know, Stephen. And in、oh, fact, ah,、no. uh, they like him so much. Ah,、uh, the next time, ah,、uh, they actually ask for Ari again, eh.、Really? That's why you see, I can still laugh, ah.、Uh. Right, all the way highway, ah.、Uh, it's not easy for you to make a U turn. You need to exit and then U turn before you can pick up the tour leader and her friend. So I'm so worried, ah.、Uh, he didn't comfort me. <laughs> not I comfort the Malay girl. But instead of the Malay girl comfort me, <laughs> so open-minded Malay girl, tak ada pakai tudung, tidak 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 ada pakai tudung, In fact, the a lot of、uh, them are very reasonable, uh, uh, customers that that we、so、have. Why I know Liana is okay about me because we exchange the phone number, so that、mm. Liana texts me for the second group. Wow.、So、that, okay. Yeah. She really forgive me and she want me to become her next group tour guide. Okay, safe. So one thing I learn. Always count people. Don't get lazy. Why? Sometimes to get they are lazy to walk from the driver seat till the last row to count the tourists. So they will look get any empty seat. Like the bus got thirty seats. We will count. Okay, 有两个位置空的 Okay, 负可以走了 Driver, ah, never do this again. Must count one by one, one by one, one by one. 才把这个事情弄好。哎呀，真的是。呀没。还有什么翻译啊 ？OK 了，巴士在金马轮坏掉也是中过了，中了两次，真的是也是在那个。啊 ，all settled 了。All settled. When 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 such、uh, emergencies happen, uh, what what do you usually do? Is there somebody you call immediately to help? Or、oh, depends what emergency things happen first. If we can shut settle without notice, without let the customer know, we will pretend nothing. Okay, let's say we are having lunch, and the driver want to go for the petrol. I'll just 加油 
mm. and promised to come back another half an hour. 但是可能外面堵车，他 one hour 还没有回到来。这时候呢，你就不用去跟客人说啦，喂 ，driver 啊，讲烂喽，对不对？就跟他们讲了啊，我试试啊。No no no, I will go and let the kitchen know. 你的 dessert 不要这么快上。哦。Singaporean 呢、啊、，when they notice, oh, got dessert, they will OK. 最后一个了哈，吃饱就要出去外面等巴士了。所以你只要西瓜还是那一些什么甜品，不要先上。So you have enough time to let the driver rush back to the restaurant to pick up the guests. 嗯。So you play some tricks. So you Let the kitchen know. 不要先上甜品。嗯。So when they eat, gay bar, who are to car, 什么吃完了，哎，还在等的。新加坡人呢，就会，呃，咬着那个土鳖等了啊。哎，西瓜还没有来啊。哎，啊，那个红豆沙还没有来哈。你就等。So you have the time. You 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 let the driver have the time to rush back. 哎，说会做一些安排了。那有些事情你不能安排的，那就没办法了。To be honest, to let the tourists know, okay, we have a bus that camera is very fast. Hmm. We are now calling the other bus from Ipoh as a standby bus, but we need to wait two hours. Like that. Hmm. 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 But in this situation, you must tell the tourist officer. So the person in charge, Diana, I must let Diana know, okay, what happened in Camera Highland now. So we are going to call another standby bus from Ipoh to Cameron Highland, which is take about two hours. So what are we going to do? So I will arrange another school bus to bring them to a morning market, so that they won't feel boring and doing nothing for the early two hours tour. Hmm. So I'm just asking. Actually, you you hear about all these uh last minute emergency ah. Uh, Mm. Uh, in fact, uh, the customer is also looking at how you settle the, the situation. Mm. You see, so, uh, in fact, all this uh incident that Eric mentioned, right? Mm. All these customer are still our customer until now. Because you take care of them, uh. Yeah, we take care of them. Number one, and uh, this is unforeseen. And sometimes you say, "Don't worry, don't worry. We got extra one two hours here, lor. You know." If 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 you can explain to customer and they are willing to accept your explanation, no problem. Hmm. Yeah. I still remember one time also Diana group, ah, Lucy. We are traveling all the way to Pulau Ketam during Malay Raya. Malaysian born, yeah. Full of people at the jetty point. Hmm. When I go there and I ask, can I charter a boat to go into Pulau Ketam? Because I have thirty over tourists, enough for me to charter a small group to go. In. I don't want to kill to get the public boat.、Mm. And the boatman let me know that no problem to go in, young boy, but you cannot go out. Why? Because of low tide. 退潮啊，嗯嗯，船能够进去出不来了。布洛克岛，它是很看那个 high tide low tide. So how we are not going there to spend like one night inside Blocker Town? We are going there to buy some seafood, dry seafood. So, honest and explain to the tourists, and then they accept my explanation. Okay, we change place. We will probably go to another place. Like, uh, not go to this block. It's impossible. You can go in, but when you want to go out, you can go in, but when you want to go out, you can go in, but when you want to go out, you can go in, but when you want to go out, you can go in, but when you want to go out, you can go in. Mm. As a tour guide, you need to be very versatile and very、uh, on your toes、uh, whenever such things happen. So tell me about a little bit about your own adventures now. Like you know, before that, you travel yourself also, right?、Mm. What was the favorite place that you went to? Favorite country or location? Oh, oh,、uh, I travel. Okay, the really amazing place for me is Argentina. Oh, wow!、Mm. Because. because? Twenty sixteen, I selected as Rio Rio Olympic volunteer. So I traveled there by myself, and I spent like three to four months in South America. And I really love this country, Argentina. And I learned my Spanish in Argentina, and make a good friend there. Until now, we still keep in touch. A very great place, great memory I spent in this. Beautiful country. 
Mm, so you speak Spanish? Uh, poco, 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 a little bit. <laughs> poco is a little bit. <laughs> how do you Not... how do you learn Spanish? Do you go there to learn, or you learn learn in uh, Penang and then go there? No, no, no. Very simple. Learn from the basic things, number, and then learn from the simple greeting: Good morning, good night, good afternoon, thank you. How are you? How much is the most important thing when you want to buy something <laughs> in the market? And then later on, you know the name of the market. Like I want to go to this market. How to make a sentence so that you can let the people point to you where's the market? Left, right, go straight, reverse. So simple word, simple word. Remember everything in your mind. I was just telling my friend uh, recently, like the most important thing you need to know how to say overseas uh, is uh, where is the washroom. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else you can uh, slowly uh, be so jiao, you know. <laughs> but uh, this word, this sentence, where is the washroom? Uh, it's quite urgent. <laughs> you, must, you, 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 you need to know yeah, how to say washroom in Spanish. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, and, and where, where, where else do you think Argentina was amazing? Is it because of the Olympics? Mm, no, no. Olympic is happened in Brazil. And oh, okay. Argentina is the neighbor country of uh, Brazil. Oh, okay, um, okay. Also, how, how to say? <laughs> but a, a great memory. Mm, 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 yeah, you your 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 passport being stolen or something, right? Being you were stuck there. Right? Wow. What happened? What happened with the stolen passport? Oh, a young guy they come and rob everything. Oh no. My 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 bag, my handphone, my purse. ATM card, credit card, everything. So then I go to the police station to make a police report, and then they can't speak English, and I can't speak Chi- I can't speak Spanish. Luckily, we have the Google Translate. So everything I key in <laughs> in Google, and then Google help me to translate into Spanish. And oh. then they help me to do the report, and then send me to the Interpol to do for the tampering, so that I can have a full police report when I want to exist from this country to go to another country. So they mm. gave me the police statement. Wow. Was it at, what, how did the person rob you? Knife point? Uh? Knife point? Or? Just, just come here, a, a group of youngsters. Oh, there's a group, a, a big group of them. A big group of them. Six to around seven people. They just come and then rob everything from me. Wow. My glasses. Well, that must be scary. Uh, Quite scary. scary. Don't know whether is it using a knife or what, but he just don't feel anything because they take out his uh, glasses. Uh, glasses. When they take out your glasses, you will feel so blur and you are you feel something for oh, okay, So yeah. what they want, you just give it to them. They want your wallet, okay. I give them my wallet. They want my handphone, I give them my handphone. They want my cash, I give them my cash. They want my bag, I give them my bag. That's all. Wow. Uh, still mm-hmm. still mm-hmm. But still safe lah. <laughs> he sleep in a, a bus stop, I think. Hmm? Bus interchange. Neither. You spend yeah. a night at the bus interchange because you ah, lost you everything? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He backpack. But you oh. don't have money, so you need to spend the night in the bus station, bus stop, train station. Wow. Yeah, he is amazing. Uh, but now cannot uh, with the family. You need to take care of the family member. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, this, this life, uh, 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 now mm. different already. Uh, I still focus mm. on the guiding <laughs> uh, because of pandemic. Yeah. Uh, so very difficult at this moment. So many of my friends are transitioning into fatherhood and I see their perception all change like you. Like, you know, they all uh, find different things important now and uh, no longer like the, the same, the same uh, carefree people, you know, they are a lot more serious, a lot more responsible and a lot more loving too, <laughs> which oh, is very interesting good. for me to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marriage change a personality, yeah? Yeah, it is, it is. But anyway, I wanted to ask you, uh, I wanted to get to know you better, uh, especially for the last activity. Uh, I wanted to know if you if you could choose a superpower, Ika Chao Yi Gong Nen. What what super what what very, superpower? Very, very simple. 
<laughs> very, very simple. As a tour guide, I wish to have like extra one hour. For example, when we are waiting a group from Singapore to Malaysia and the bus not yet arrived, extra one hour, one hour. <laughs> now for me to solve everything. For example, we the Wow, the restaurant is full of people, extra one hour. <laughs> Sometimes when you arrive there, yeah, like the famous restaurant, uh, they are full of people. So they will ask you, okay, kindly wait inside the bus for half an hour. You're wasting your time. So always when we guide a group for myself, I wish I can have like extra one hour. Mm. So for example, we are going to the Malacca famous Jonker Street. Jonker mm. Street became uh, so happening from 8 p.m. until 11 p.m. <laughs> 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Very hot and very So mm. we must let our tourists to go there around 9 something before 11. But sometimes when we finish our nyonya dinner, we to that it's 10 p.m. It's too late for them. And then they don't have much thing to buy. Mm. So you have extra one hour, that's the best. I can teach you one hour to go. This is the Malay New Year or Christmas. Wow, stuck in a checkpoint. You have extra one hour? Wow, safe enough for me to send my tourists back to Singapore because I have the power of extra one hour. Wow. This is the most uh, practical down to earth superpower I have ever heard in my entire life. It's related to work somewhere. <laughs> when you talk about guiding, for me, I want extra one hour. So when the tourists arrive at the checkpoint and the bus not just arrive, extra one hour, I can immediately let the bus come over to the checkpoint. Mm. One hour enough for me to do a lot of things. So a day, 24 hours, not enough for 25 25 hours. <laughs> up and down, up and down, you can do a lot of things. When you go to a museum, the museum close at 6. We arrive at 5.45. Wow, 15 minutes, not enough. Leh. If you have extra one hour, we arrive at 4.45. You still have one hour, 15 minutes to go for the museum sightseeing. Perfect. Mm. Excellent, fantastic. One hour. Ah, 带团呢，先不要想什么说啊，我要 good weather 啊，这些呢 out of your control. But if you give me one superpower, I want extra one hour. I used to happen is 真的时常会遇到的。到了这一个 garden, oh sorry sir, we close at six. Ah, you arrive here five forty five. Ah, can you please come tomorrow morning? Oh, jala. Tomorrow morning we are heading to Cameron Island. How come? So because of the Tour arrangement tomorrow morning, we still need to go to the garden before we're heading to Cameron Highland. Now, mm. so if you have one hour extra, wow, excellent. All right, there, 5.45, no problem. Superpower come, 4.45. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we still have one hour, 15 minutes to go for the garden. Sightseeing. Wow, this is Mm. So, rather than you can go to a five star hotel. hotel is very good. magic power. Magic power is beyond control. This is sorry, sir. Our museum closed at 6, uh, but you arrived here, the last call is 5.30. Uh. So you are here by 45, but uh, we were closed. So how? Uh, please come tomorrow morning. Wow. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to Cameron Highland. Uh, that's your problem, not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> you have extra one hour. Excellent. Excellent. If you are watching this video right now, we are interviewing Eric. Uh, if you are interested, there will be links below for you to check him out. Uh, remember to like and follow this channel. Eric, I have another question. Um, other than touring and culture and local places, what else do you like? Is there a hobby or things that you like? Or uh, what, what, what else do you like other than uh, you know, traveling? Mm. Okay. Cookie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good cook. Every Cooking. time he posts me what yeah, he okay, cooks. Okay. Oh my God, oh. I can see, cannot eat. <laughs> yeah, as a tour guide, like you guide 
Singapore group, you got Taiwan market or you got Chinese tourists, they will go to certain restaurant. And when you go there, you can eat a lot of good dining. So when you are not doing guiding, when you have time, you want to eat food. Then how? I can't. I really want to go to Malaysia to go for Ole Sai, Ole Nyonya food, Ole Sai, ah, Ole Sai. So he chose. He chose. Choose the right thing. Choose the right thing. Choose the right thing. Wow. As a product, you have you, you have the advantage. You can buy all the spices when mm. you guide tour to Malaysia. So you can in advance buy all the spices first so when you have time look at the youtube and then someone will teach you from step one to step two step three step four just follow and you can have a good dinner or good lunch mm. and then a very also my, good skill to have also uh, my family yeah. also <laughs> i only know how to cook maggie me only I, uh, <laughs> 想吃又吃不到啊！嗯嗯嗯。You ask me a very good question. Super power? I want one hour. Besides, uh, traveling, traveling, cooking. Yeah.嗯嗯嗯。我想煮东西来，所以我都会跟大家share，share，I share some, uh，煮的东西给大家看啊，就是他吃不到。我看得到吃不到了。有有，大家都会煮吗？ 我会煮吧，没有人要吃。Okay, so next time we go Penang, uh, we you cook for us, ah, Eric. No problem, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Now we are waiting for the border to open soon. Yes, I really hope so. Anyways, ah, what what do you think your most impressive um achievement is today? The most impressive thing that you have done or achieved. Very simple. Every time when you send a group at Tuas Checkpoint or KIA Airport or Penang Airport, customer they will shake your hand and say thank you to you and hope to see you again. And this is the best award that they given to me. Ah, not say he gave you how much money. Money can be said he is a gentleman. He can give you ten ringgit or twenty ringgit. Appreciate this few days, maybe you help him. 那是真的 ，a sincere thank you to you is the best award to a tour guide. 嗯，真的 ，we spend like three days, four days together. 嗯 ，and then 最开心是 ，after two months 啊，哎 ，Auntie, it's you again 啊 ，I'm a QCC member. 就看到他了，他真的真的会有的。It's a very nice feeling. Very nice. Some tour guide they will, they how to say like they want the bonus is keeping. Wow, so. Until the last day, they were looking forward the envelope from tourists, but don't put high expectation. Sometimes they won't give you any envelope, so you 不要有这个期望就好了。我要平常心，真的 ，because we already have our daily salary. 我们已经有这些东西的了，所以就做好这些东西。We share what we know to the tourists. So I always let my Singapore tourists know that you're my familiar in Johor because it's near to Singapore, and you're also very familiar in Malacca because you're driving car from Singapore to Malacca is about two and a half hour. But you are not familiar in Ipoh and the northern part of Peninsular Malaysia. And my duty today is to share all these funny places with you to discover about the. Uh, the beauty of Peninsular Malaysia. So the next time when you want to travel to Malaysia, you will go and find Diana Royal Wings, and then you will see me again. Uh, so <laughs> the achievement is Stefan. Must ask Eric. Uh, bring us to the best durian plantation. Oh, can yeah. Ah, uh, 真的。最开心，最开心的就是他们跟你说 thank you and hope to yeah. see you again. When Singaporean. Talk to you, hope to see you again. The chance is very high. Hmm. Yeah. It's not one year. Hmm. You travel to Malaysia twice a year, or maybe three times a year. I'm just like that person. When I like a place, right? Uh, like uh, if I know the sequence of events, I will go two times, three times in my my life. Oh, really? I'm that kind of person. 
呀呀呀！所以所以会有的，我我也是我帮戴安娜接过她的一些 repeat customer。Mm. Yeah, a lot, a lot. We big customer a lot. We have a lot. That's why. So, so this is the best achievement. 而不是说哇，你今天吃到一个很好的西部的，或者是一个 five star hotel, luxury hotel. 没有，不是这些东西了。我觉得真的是 they give you the best award and they say a sincere thank you to you. Thanks for the guiding and thanks for the good take care of us. Yeah, we really aim for one hundred percent. That's one. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. This is this is the best. Thank you. Is nothing. No, uh, no money can buy one. Hmm. So don't, 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 don't. 每次都都 not day one. You already put expectation on. I want big envelope, big envelope. Ha 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 ha. These are not important. Ha 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 ha. Good advice for aspiring good tour guides. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe to wrap up, uh, I'd like to ask mm. you, what are your uh, hopes for the future? Um, what are your plans or uh, in the future, what you hope will, will, will you know, uh, for you? What, 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 what are your aspirations in the next five oh, or ten years? Oh, very simple, two things. Uh -huh. Before that, only one thing. Okay. Before that, only one thing. I hope that I still can enjoy as a tour guide and recommend more and more funny places to my tourists, not only from China, Taiwan, but also from Singapore. But after the pandemic, I have two things. I hope the border can open soon, <laughs> as safe as we can travel. It's safe. If they come, we're safe. The second thing is, Keep on recommend all these good places to them. Just like that. Very as a tour guide, sharing is caring. Hmm. You 跟人家说东西就是跟人家分享东西 When they like to know more about you, maybe they interest to go to Penang. 我真的有试过跟他们讲，到像露西跟莱纳报名，他来到 Penang, travel all the way from Singapore to Penang, and also they travel to Taipei. Because I let them know you can go to the southernmost happening city in Thailand, Hapjai. So, really, all the aunties, ah, they are the nice ones. I tell them, I tell them, the nice ones. All the aunties, as long as every time them, don't worry, I am around. Don't worry, I'll bring you there. I take, I take, really, 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 I'm 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 so so to Singapore, the bus like a Singapore, the bus like a Malaysia. Goi me thang thi ka sung je ka thia thia je ka Malaysia guan kao thi gen gu jip Thai kao. Ik ka hu zao gen ni gai zang gai si si a di de jin hua hi ha. Da ka da ka. Wah, they are not from Malaysia. They are from the evening from Malaysia, and then they go to bus, go to the next day morning go to Thailand, and then they are happy. What is it? Wow. They are happy. People actually do that. Yeah, we actually, we actually wow. do that. <laughs> from from Penang to Thailand, how long is, is it? From Penang to the border, uh, from Penang to the border is about one and a half hour. And oh, that's that's very short. Uh. Yeah, very okay. short. But from Singapore to Penang, uh, almost <laughs> ten hours, my brother. Just like this, we cut this guy's hair. I told my auntie, "Say that long trip to Chiang Mai is very good. Ha, travel once. You guys have traveled twice. Travel to Malaysia and Thailand. Ha, you travel one country, you travel two country at one night. Hmm. One night, travel twice. Hmm. 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 Hm
So we have an activity when we stay at home, stay in while we will go and DIY the otak otak. Yeah, yeah. They like it. You also say things here. you want to eat the Musan King. Musan King is origin from Pentong. So Diana also have to go to go to Pentong. Mao San Wang is it? 对对对 Yeah, Mao San Wang. Wang. Like in in Geylang also you have Mao San Wang. Jin Yi Tang Ki Singapore to eat Boyu Lian. Ah, but you have to know the origin. Like when mm. they travel to Penang, I will explain to me anything famous in Penang. Like in Singapore, so I can eat durian. What for? I need to travel all the way to Penang to go and try the durian. Mm. Uh, so we have like a nutmeg special in Penang. We have mm. the Penang white coffee, and also we have the Penang Hokkien very famous biscuit Tau Sapi. Mm. Tau Sapi is from Penang. So I will explain to them. Like Diana, I see your friends go to Pahang, Kuantan. I take them to buy fish, salted fish, salmon, 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 Wet market to go and buy the ginger. This is what they want. In China, also you can buy ginger. But why I must go to Bandung to buy ginger? Because this place got the famous ginger origin from Bandung. Wow. Many things. Like, I want to share another one. Um. Uh, we call this Chinese call this thing called Yuzi. English. Yeah. Pomelo. 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 但还是有多去这个 Pomelo Garden 的，也是一个很不错的地方的。Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you, when they buy so heavy, they can buy two three 啊！我我也不懂啊，那安迪讲哇，外外孙啊，真爱嚼，我啊是啦，都跟我。It's really very very nice. It's very hard to go and find this plain one. It's all hidden. 所以这些这些就是。They carry back 啊。They carry back. Trust me. 讲他们他们可以买的。OK， 第一个是当然这一个 ，the value of the money make them feel items in Malaysia damn cheap compared to Singapore、uh, because yeah, of the yeah. currency. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they want to know, hey, why have what anything famous in Ipoh, especially the CC Auntie. Hi, Zhao Si. Second things, lah. First things, so they want to know anything they can buy and then they can bring it back, share with their neighbor, their lovely grandchildren. 这些东西我们喜欢分享，就是讲了一包有什么东西吃，嗯，这一个芽菜鸡什么啊，买这一个 egg tart 的，还是很喜欢买的。嗯 ，Yeah Yeah。Eric， thank you for your time today. Well, I think I I want to talk to you more. <laughs> you have a wealth of information about Malaysia, not just Penang. <laughs> yes. Definitely want to go on one of your tours. Uh, once the sure. once the borders open and it's safe to travel again. Uh, we we always like to end the the video with one small activity, and uh, the last the last video I I did a simple question and answer A B, uh yes uh this or that 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 game is called this or that, you um but this today I want to do something slightly different, uh and if I may I would like to uh just reposition my camera a little bit just to make sure that it is uh. It will look well. If it's not well, then we just cut it out of the video, lah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, because uh, okay, I I want preframe this. I am not a mind reader. I have no psychic powers. These are all uh things that I'm trying to you know. I've been looking at the screen very carefully to understand you a little bit better. Like I know you are a very simple person. When you talk, you will, you will uh be so hua jiao and is you're gonna when when there are certain numbers that come out, you will prefer some things uh uh compared to others. So this is what I've been looking out for in the entire uh time that uh I've been uh talking to you, and uh this is nothing magical. This is just uh, understanding the person enough so that we can do something together. Oh, uh if if just give me a moment, I need to close my uh thing so that you can see what I'm actually doing so that. We can have some fun together, lah, ho. Okay. These are all okay. tricks, ah. There is nothing special about this. <laughs> I have no superpower, ah. But if I had one superpower, I'll tell you what I would like to have. I would like to yes, have please. mind reading. No, no. <laughs> mind reading, okay. Mind reading. If I had one superpower, how about you, Diana? Eh? How about you, Diana? Me. 
Uh, superpower. Hmm, extra one hour? No. <laughs> hey, very important as a tour guide, extra one hour, it's very important. I, I wish I can uh, grant everyone's wish. Uh. Wow. Everyone a... else wish, not my yes. wish. I okay. wish I can grant everyone else wish. You're punching a greedy girl. Hey, not my wish, uh, they are wish. Uh. Grant other people wish. Uh. Well, the wish is simple, like, extra one hour enough for me. Yeah, I will grant your wish. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, you want to be what? Uh? Just now? My, my reader. reader. I want reader. to be okay, read your wish. <laughs> my reader, the oh, thank you. Yeah? Okay, yeah. it's <laughs> Can both of y'all see my table over here? Can. Okay, can you see the words here? Eric. Yep. Yeah, his name is Eric. So uh, these are just torn pieces of paper. Lah, okay, they are all blank except one piece. I'm gonna put Eric's name over here. Can uh, Eric after after talking to you for the last say half an hour, I think I have uh, I have some idea of uh, the kind of person you are. I'm not going to ask. I'm going to try to make it a bit more difficult. Actually, one of the questions I wanted to ask you is your favorite fruit. Um, but now, since we talked so much already, I think I want to make it slightly more harder. Um, instead of, uh, I'm going to ask you some simple things. Do you have the deck of cards that I asked you to prepare earlier today? Yes. Okay, yeah. great, great. Okay, great. Uh, so with the deck of cards, right? I think the first thing we want to do is uh, I want you to shuffle it. Uh, yeah, thank you for doing that. Uh, just shuffle it as much as you want. Uh, so there is no way for me to know what, uh, what sequence it is. Okay, I know what cards they are because just now, um, uh, just before this video, uh, Eric actually uh, took the deck out to show me. Okay, so Eric, I need you to fan out the, the deck of cards right now. So with, with different people, they, they shuffle cards differently. They, some of them overlap the top, some of them overlap the bottom. And uh, some people shuffle from left to right, some people shuffle from right to left. So all these little things are kind of important. Just leave it a bit higher so that we have it on the video. Uh, slightly high, uh, uh, half of, uh, just a bit higher. Okay, can, can. Okay, just close the, the, the deck of cards and we are going to use it in a while, yeah? So have the deck of cards in front of you like so, so that everybody can see. Okay, uh, I might or may not get this correct because the, the, you shuffled a bit differently this time around <laughs> from the last <laughs> practice, uh, and, but it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I need you now, right, to cut the deck wherever you want and then put, uh, put it, you cut the deck wherever you want. Okay. okay, and then, yeah, and then put the bottom on the top. The bottom on the top. Yeah, just like that. Okay, then put oh. that card uh, at the, at the, uh, on, on the table. table. Just put it on the table. It's okay. We're going to come back to the deck of cards in a while. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after half an hour, I've actually told you a few things without you knowing. I suggested to your mind to to some of the things that I want you to say eventually. Huh? And it also includes what happened with the deck of cards in, in a while. Lah, huh? um, but here I have a few pieces of cards. As you can see, they are all blank. So this is not a prediction exercise like we did the last time. This one is actually an active one. So uh, Eric, I'll need to see uh, your expression clearly for this one because it's quite important. <laughs> I'm going to write down my first prediction. Uh, Eric, just look into the camera eye if you, if you can. Yeah? Just look into the camera eye. Okay, I already wrote, written my first prediction. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to put it down. Okay, Eric, <laughs> yeah, I need you to, uh, I, Eric, I need you to uh, think about three numbers. Sanke hao ma. Can? Three yeah. numbers. Any three will do. Uh, any three will do. You want me to let you know now the number that I'm thinking? Uh, yeah, you can, you can actually you can let us know. No problem. That. Okay, 118. 118. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> uh, very similar to our last uh, guy. Uh. Like yeah. Okay, uh, okay. The second question is uh, in fact, I'm going to write the, the prediction now. Oh, 
a mystery. Yeah. I don't know you, right? I don't I know you uh, before this interview, correct? Yeah, I also didn't know you before this interview. Your, you have a son or a daughter? Son. A son. Okay, your son has an English name? Uh, yes. If don't have, have uh? Yes. Okay. I'm going to guess your son's English name. Wow. Huh? Are you serious? I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mystery, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I thought this is just a know your guy show. Think, uh? <laughs> know your guy. Okay. Uh, I just need you to think about the the first letter of the name. Can okay? just think about it. Don't say it out first. Uh. Okay. Uh. Just think of a letter in the middle of the name. Okay. Okay, uh, just think of uh, that let, let, uh, letter at the end. You see, when, when you think about letters, right, sometimes some people, they lift their chin up or higher or lower. You actually, you actually can tell what kind of pronunciation that letter is. Wow. Oh? Okay. Oh? I, must, I must cover my face. Eh? Okay, so what's the... <laughs> That's the reason he the, asked you to look at the camera. So what's, what's, the, what's, what's your son's name? I really wrote down with it. No. Are you sure we are yeah, we guessing? never met before. I don't even know Eric's son's name. I, I'm not even friends of, of you on Facebook, you know. I add you, but you never add me back. What's your son's name? You already wrote my son's name. Yeah, I, I just I wrote a petition. Okay. I see is it, if it's right or wrong. <laughs> And my son is Lucas. Uh. Oh, can you all see the, the piece of paper here? Can I? I, yeah, I wrote okay. already, I put down. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because okay, the, the visual is quite important. Okay, so uh, I think out of these two, right, the hardest, I tell you what's the hardest to do. It's not to guess your son's name. It's not to guess uh, the number that you choose. Uh. The hardest of them all is actually the cards that you just shuffle. Okay? Wow. So first of all, I must understand that because we only pick half of the deck, remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. 52 is actually easier. <laughs> and I have to see the, all the cards clearly. And I don't think I got it correct because I saw that, that like, the shuffling was slightly different. <laughs> uh, so it's all about a It's okay, okay. it's okay. But, but right, I can tell you that, right, uh, from the way you shuffle, because the hands, uh, we, we are all very intelligent people. We just don't know that we are so intelligent. Everything that we see, feel, or look right, we actually... Uh, no, we actually have a sense of uh, uh, understanding, okay? Everything that we actually also remember, but we actually don't, we cannot consciously bring out the numbers. But I'm going to ask you some questions so that I can guess uh, uh, what kind of shuffle you did just now, Ken? Oh, sure. Okay. If it was a card, would it be a red or a black card? Red. Okay. If it was a number, would it be a high or low number? Low. Okay, don't look at the cards now. Because it might change the... Don't, don't look at the cards. <laughs> okay. Uh, if it was a uh, sweet, right? What sweet would it be? So there is clubs, Love. diamonds. Hmm? Love. Heart. Yes. Heart shape. Okay, uh, can you look up a little bit? Let's just look up to the camera. Okay, say say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight. enough. Okay, can. Can. Wow. Wow. Low, eh? Low. I don't know. I also don't know. I can't predict. Diana, <laughs> can you predict the number? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I give you so, we, can do, we can do this for as many as we want, uh, but I have the I have all of the predictions here. Can uh if it, if you're wrong then I don't know, I don't know how <laughs> I'll just fight. We'll just try uh, all wrong. Okay, okay. So which one do you want me to which one do you want me to reveal first? Okay, the, which one do you want me to reveal first? The number, yeah. The, cast the number, uh, the number is the most interesting one. What yes. number do you say just now? Uh Red color, low number, and heart shape. 
Oh, you, you mean you want the card first? Uh, yeah, I want the card. So there are, three, there are three questions, right? There's the card, which card? There is the there is the number, the three numbers, and then there is your son's name. Uh, the, the, the number first. Uh, the, the, number, the number first. The three numbers. Yes. Three numbers. What is the number you pick? 118. 118. Yes. So oh one gosh. correct, uh, one down. Okay. How you know? Uh? Your son's oh name gosh. is? Lucas. You just can't say Lucas. Lucas. When you say, when you think about the letter S, right? You actually went like that. <laughs> Lucas. Oh my God! Okay. So, <laughs> last but not least, uh, okay, I want you to bring out the deck again. The bring up the deck, the, the cross, right? Just now the deck has a cross, right? Okay. I want you to take out the top of it. Take out the top. Uh, like this. Take out the top. Yeah, just the top. Yeah. Okay. Put, put down on the table. Put down, put, uh, take the, the lower one, the, 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 the bottom. Take the bottom. No, no, no. <laughs> no, the, the, the one you, from the top, right, you put down on the table. Sorry, okay. my instruction not clear. The other power, yeah. bring it up. Bring and it then up. take the first, the top card. The top card? Yeah, what is the top card? It's a heart shape. Uh huh. Number eight. Oh, I was so near. Oh. I guess a heart oh, seven. Almost there, almost there. Oh my god! Oh, shit, man. <laughs> Genius. Hey, hey, when you hey. said when between the number seven and eight, right? You actually gave me the answer. Between the number seven and eight, you reacted. So I thought it was number seven. <laughs> how come you know my son? Yeah, so, how come? Uh? <laughs> you, but but he tweeted S above. There are so many names and the last letter is S left. Yeah, so there is no magic involved. It's just psychology, it's just science, and it's just suggestion. And how come yeah, I have no superpowers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you for playing. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. Eric, we just I had a met. lot of fun. And I would <laughs> like to get fun. to know you more, Eric. You are a very interesting person. And I'm I'm very much <laughs> if if we meet in person, I'll do another one for you. Live. <laughs> well, thanks, huh? One day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go find Eric together. Mm. Yeah, after the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, thank okay. you all for watching this video. It has been a uh, really, really good. A time really flies when we were chatting. Yes. Uh, yeah, one hour plus. Yeah, and if you like to find out more about tours in Penang and also Eric, we will have links below. Uh, and again, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Turn on the alerts because you know we'll be we'll be pushing these videos out. Uh, on on as 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 fast as we can, so you yeah. want to be uh, the first to always watch it, so that you can you know you can check out the, the tour guides and you can book if you if you are interested. And yeah. anyways, Diana has really really great offers and uh, and 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 I think I really want to uh, appreciate uh, I think Diana also my queen. <laughs> oh, Diana is no. everyone's queen. <laughs> yeah, but... you are my queen too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for watching this. Uh, I hope to see you again in the next episode. We will be again talking to a, another very interesting tour guide. Yes. Thank you for watching. And no, yo, no, yo, yo, yo. 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 Hey, see you, bye Thank bye. you, Stefan and Diana. Most welcome. Bye, Eric. See bye you bye. Today. See you soon. <laughs>